I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel Mad Crafty. Today is day 13 of 25 days of holiday crafts. So for today's craft we're going to be making fairy ornaments and keychains. I love fairies. Part of the reason that these are so much fun to make is because you can literally find so many things around the house that you can use on them. You can use buttons, washi tape, old dance costumes. You can even take a skewer and wrap embroidery thread around it like I did and make a wand and then attach your fairy to the top. That would be a great gift. Or you can kind of put them in vases around the house or have them coming out of plants. That could be cute. All right, let's make them. I got these antique clothespins for under $5 from Michaels. Leave your clothespins untouched or paint them whatever color you wish and let them dry before continuing. So now you're going to take some fake flowers, either from the dollar store or from Michaels, and you're going to flip them over because they're going to be your dresses. So you want to take out all of the plastic parts, but don't throw them away because they're going to be great for fairy accessories like crowns and wands. Once you've taken all the plastic pieces out of your flower, then you're going to flip it over so the flower is facing downward, and you're going to get in that little hole and you're going to make some snips so that it fits over the clothespin. Definitely make sure that your snips are small because you can always go back and snip some more. Okay, so once you have your dress fitting just the way you want, you're going to take some hot glue and put it underneath just to secure it and make sure it doesn't fall off. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some embroidery thread and make a top for my dress. Okay, so you're going to make a double knot near the neck part and make sure you leave that long strand like I did because once you're done circling this around and around and around, you are going to use that little piece of string to tie the other end to. Also make sure that that side of the string is going under all of your circles because you don't want it to be on the outside. When you are happy with the length of the top of your dress, snip it off and make another double knot and then again snip off the little ends. Okay, now it's time for the hair. So just slip off these little pieces of paper and you wanna keep your embroidery thread intact and just kind of open it up and you'll see that it's really just a big circle. So you wanna keep it like that and put it aside. Now you're just gonna take some hot glue and put it over the head and remember, definitely work quickly because the hot glue can dry really fast. Then you're gonna take one end of your embroidery thread and you're just gonna lay it over and you will see that it looks exactly like hair. Watch your fingers because the glue is really hot and this is gonna get mad messy. So the hair takes some working through. You're going to notice that you might want to cover the bald spot in the back, which I don't because I don't care. But if you want to give it bangs, if you want to give it braids, cut it off, style it, this is the fun part. Now we're going to make the fairy wings. So take another flower and cut off two petals or four petals if you want. And we're just going to glue this easily on the back. So at this point, if you want it to be an ornament, you're going to first put some string before you put the wings in the back. So the string is going to be between the fairy and the wings and it will stick in there perfectly to hang on your tree. So now I'm taking one of those little flower plastic pieces from before and I'm going to glue it in the top to make it a crown. Last thing you're going to do is add a face if you wish. I suggest using a Sharpie, not a Crayola marker like I did because I noticed that it started to smudge off. So definitely use something permanent. Okay, you're done. Now you can add your fairy onto the wand or hang it up on the tree or make it into a keychain by adding a little jump ring in the crown with some crazy glue and you're good to go. And that is my version of a fairy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more crafts by me and have a very enchanted day.